Hello, Silver Community. It's Sterling Cannabis with you once again. And today I've got a silver mail call unboxing. Shout out to Value Hunter for once again uh, making my silver dreams come real. <coughs> uh, it is the 12th of November. Nine days after the election and things are turning on their head. Uh, the big topic on the news is the voter fraud. Um, mainstream media seems to be denying that there is any. Um, all of the conservative outlets, and I mean the real conservative outlets, not Fox, um, are you know showing all of the evidence of the voter fraud um, this is not going to be over in a heartbeat people um, I hate to say it but I mean it might be the 14th of December when when the electors meet and will that even happen on that day I'm not sure uh, the court's going to be involved. The court is going to have a whole lot to do with it. Um, there's other situations where it can go to the House of Representatives. So, our political world is up in the air. Lots of people are really worried. Lots of people are really angry. Um, I don't want to... Let that ruin my day, my minute. Um, it's in God's hands. And it will be taken care of, and we will have the leaders that uh, the Lord wants us to have. So with that, I'm going to open up this package here. Now, I have, it is a grab bag, as I usually do. And after I placed the order, I had a little conversation with Vale. And so I, I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what's in here more than I usually do, maybe slightly. I don't know. Well, and yeah, here's the knife from my sister once again. Uh, but what I'm going to find in this package is something that uh, a lot of you might think that I'm absolutely crazy. And you might be right. Oh, look at this. Peanuts. I got peanut. I got a new Value Hunter sticker from Imperium Label. Those are cool. Thanks, Brother Sterling C. Best wishes, Val. We do these often enough. It doesn't need to be real fancy. But uh, let's see. what. Oh, what did we got in here? Oh, my, 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 my. A little different than I was thinking, even. What is this? Oh, cool. <laughs> a Value Hunter lapel pin. Hat pin. I actually, I have a hat with a bunch of uh, Billy Strings pins on it. Guess where this is going, Val? You're going to be part of my rock and roll outfit. Um, oh, here's a... Bunch of dimes. Five dollars worth of dimes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I am a happy boy. Um, but the other big thing that's been going on of late, and I think we'll lead into this with what, with what I'm going to be opening up here in a minute, uh, is the releases from the Mint in the last week or so. You know, a few happy people, but a lot of really, really unhappy people in the community. Not liking, you know, the way the Mint is treating them and what they got and what they didn't get. And, uh, and the way the um, website kept on crashing or letting people put stuff in their cart. And then when it comes to pay for it, it doesn't go through and, you know, all kinds of... There's a 68. 
and a 64 and a 69 all right a couple for each one of those pouches and it looks like you got a dollar here um, but when I was in grade school I was in a coin club started in the third grade they were still making coins out of silver back then. Uh, but I got in a coin club and I enjoyed it and I learned a bit. And, but as time went along, I became more and more and more frustrated with coin collecting. Look at this dollar. I love these things, Val. I don't know what this, uh, Liberty, uh, in God we trust, 1789 to 1989. It has got, it looks like a, an Indian chief on there. Not familiar with this coin, but it's a silver dollar. I know what they are. And as I showed you in a video just a while back, I've been getting a lot of these things from Bill. I really like them. Uh, those are cool. But what I did learn in that time is that, you know, I, was, I got mint sets and all of this stuff, and it's like I was never, ever happy with the transactions. Uh, felt like I was being robbed every, every, every time. But look at all we got here. This is, this is where I think you guys, you might, I might lose some of you. And I got two rolls, four dollars worth of war nickels. So that's almost four and a half ounces of silver right there. Five dollars worth of rosies. They're all rosies. So it looks like I'll go through them in a little bit. Five dollars worth of rosies. That's over three ounces. Um, well, it puts us at about, what, um, three, well, say three and a half ounces. No. Three and it's seven and a half ounces. Silver dollar. Eight and a quarter. Sixty-four Kennedy. Puts us about 8.6 and then two 40%. That's like, that's a good nine ounces of silver. Not bad. Uh, I think spot when I got this up was just under 25. So, you know, and Val gives me on these things spot price. I'm not buying silver for a collection. I don't care about filling spots and books. I don't care about having a complete set. You know, it's, uh, it doesn't matter to me that there was a hundred million more of these made than there was of these. It's just silver with some stampings on it. Um, that's all I'm looking at, is how much silver can I put away? Because as I started out, the selection that's going on is really, really got things messed up in our world today. Um, I don't count on the government 
for my, well, that's not true. I get Social Security. I count on the government for that, but I don't want to count on the government. I paid for that. Yeah, it's mine, but, but the things that are going on, I mean, we could be out here on our own in the next two years if everything goes wrong. And this will always barter. There's my rant. Day after Veterans Day. So the next holiday coming up is Thanksgiving. I think maybe I'm going to thaw out a turkey and smoke it sometime in the next few days. I am going to a Stop the Steel uh, rally in Lansing, Michigan on Saturday. If any of y'all are in Michigan and going to that, let me know. I'm going to catch up with you. I'm going to be there with a few friends. But love you guys. Get a whole bunch of this stuff because when everything else is gone, people are still going to need to be able to do business. If it's a loaf of bread or a gallon of milk or some meds that you might need, this will always be money. Love you guys. Stay safe.